EBR-1 was a scientific experiment. The purpose of it was to determine whether or not it was possible to do several things that Fermi had thought were possible. Fast reactors using fast neutrons, that of course had been done, uh, but it hadn't been done as in a reactor setting. Secondly, and more importantly, Fermi's objective was to utilize uranium-238, which is the very abundant element of uh, uranium. I was sort of given the job of working on the details of the reactor, what I'd call sort of a mechanical standpoint. The, the general concept had been established primarily by the, some physicists working for Zinn and with him, and uh, they had a, a, a concept of a reactor, and I sort of put meat on the bones. Uh, it was realized and recognized by the people planning the experiment that this would be done at a high temperature because they wanted to use a liquid metal coolant and that the temperature would be high enough to utilize the heat energy. So they also coupled it with an experiment to generate electricity. And that too was successful, of course. I think the best word for it is sort of uneventful. It's what we all expected. The day before we had started, got the reactor running and uh, didn't run it at a high temperature. It was late, sort of late in the day, so they went home. First thing in the morning, we started the reactor up with the intention of getting it up to temperature and, and generating electricity, and we did. We've talked about it many times since, and uh, everybody's sort of surprised and, but reconciled the idea that we've been working on this for several years, and it just did what we expected it to do, so there were, there were no surprises. And I suspect that's kind of true of all uh, developments of this kind. Uh, uh, if the people are pretty confident that it's going to work, they'll be successful. When it does, when it is successful, it's not very ceremonious. I guess I have sort of mixed emotions. I, I'm very gratified that we have a, a new source of energy that doesn't require that you burn something. I think that's very important. I think it's kind of unfortunate that we're still primarily doing this with a U-235 system. Most of the reactors in the world are U-235 burning systems, and as a result, we're accumulating U-238 by the ton. That is the reason, one of the reasons why I am so confident that eventually uh, we'll do this the way Fermi said we should do it, and that is uh, using that U-238 uh, inventory, which is, is growing every year, and we have thousands of years of, of uh, energy and storage uh, that uh, we're not really using it. Somebody asked me about where, how, where, how I would fit that into the technological picture, and I, uh, I, I compared it to Kitty Hawk in the sense that EBR-1 proved the concept was correct, that it could be done. So to top it off, I was so very lucky at uh, being just at the right time, at the right place. The days at Argonne were the fun days. Uh, there's nothing like being in on something that when it's starting and seeing it get started and being a part of that. Mm -hmm.